Let's now welcome the team that will show you the four following exercises. First exercise will be frontal plane. Second exercise, lateral plane. Third exercise, counter rotation of shoulders. And the fourth exercise, counter rotation of hips. Okay, let's settle the weight, please. Are we ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and thank you very much. And relax. Let's now move to the second exercise, please. Let's settle the weight. Are we ready? And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, and thank you very much. Relax. Let's move on to the third exercise, please. Let's settle the weight. Are we ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, faster. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Thank you very much. And relax. We are now moving to the final exercise. Let's settle the weight on one foot, please. Are we ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, faster. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Thank you very much. Back to central position. Over to the other foot. Are we ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, faster. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Five, six. Thank you very much. Back to central position. Relax. Now that you have an understanding and you have seen the exercises executed from our team, I would like you to practice them in separate with music and without music. I will once again stress the importance of practicing these exercises slowly with a full awareness of the weight position. So now you should have a good understanding of what is balance. You should have a good understanding of how you can move your body without changing your balance position. Now we're going to move on to the next point which is how can we keep our vertical weight fall while changing weight. In this, the activity in our spine plays a very important role. So when I'm standing centered between my two feet, my spine and my weight fall are in the same position. If I wish to transfer weight to one foot, the easy mistake is to create a side load because of the desire to keep a posture. So we are trying to keep the body still and weight changing. This is not correct. So I need to have a very oily spine in order for me to transfer weight from one foot to the next without losing the verticality of my weight fall. Now, once again, this movement can look strange once applied in a single way. But I guarantee you that once again, combined with all the other movements, it will just look perfect in dancing. So how can we mechanically make sure that this works? Upper sphere, lower sphere. Therefore, the same two spheres we are using for frontal plane and for lateral plane. The lower sphere has always to move away from the foot we wish to stand on. 
Therefore, if I'm transferring my weight from right foot to left foot, my lower sphere will rotate and move away from my receiving foot. As you can see from this movement, now I can achieve a vertical weight fall from my head to my foot. Now, this movement must happen every single time we change weight from one foot to the next. Therefore, I now want you to be aware of three positions, central position, right foot position, left foot position. These are your three clear positions you must become aware during any step you are dancing. The more you develop this, the more not only will you be aware of one, two, and three, but you will become aware of every single moment in which the weight is transferring from one foot to the next. Therefore, when I create a step and change weight, I can now control my balance and every single moment of that change. Instead of being able to control my balance on my left foot and then on my right foot. Of course, on the video dedicated to the balance of movement, more of this information will be joined and you will have a better understanding of the overall usage of the body. So for the moment, I just would like you to practice this very simple exercise. Feet are open. We settle the weight. We still find that vertical weight fall that we discussed earlier. We are now transferring weight to one foot, still finding that vertical weight fall, then going back to the other foot. As you can see, the upper sphere and lower sphere are now moving away from each other with a slight rotation so that overall my shoulders are still in line with the floor. What do I feel as I transfer weight? I feel the total control of my weight change with no side load. When we now change weight while we are stepping, we need to understand that we have to use the same mechanics that we are using to transfer from right to left and from left to right. So I will not just walk forward or backwards, but every step will be a combination of a forward and side movement. I repeat that because that's another key point. It's a forward and side movement. So if I'm standing on the middle of my feet with the balance on the center, the first movement is a side movement. Now I have free leg. Earlier we understood how to use the two hip joints. Once I create the step, my weight is now transferring forward and moving to the center. So at this moment in time, I am centered in both planes, frontally and also sideways. Once I'm in the central position, now I have to arrive on my other foot and therefore continue the movement sideways. So I'm now moving forward and to the right. So I can feel again vertical weight fall. Then I can place my left foot, center myself on both planes and transfer to my left foot. The more you become aware of this movement, the faster you can create this walk, which looks, I agree, very strange. But you can see that my weight fall is constantly in control and vertical. Therefore, it doesn't matter if I'm dancing a feather step, two walks in tango, a natural turning waltz, any step. I have two feet, and all I can do is transfer from one foot to the next foot. As I stated earlier, once I combine this movement with everything else, you will not see this movement. So if I transfer from one foot to the next foot, you do not see this movement anymore. All you see is a powerful weight transfer from one foot to the next. So the feel is I am not at any moment concerned with my spinal position, but I am always totally aware of my vertical weight fall. So small example, promenade position. And let's combine now all the exercises. So first of all, where is my balance on my right foot? Do I want to create volume? Yes. Do I want to create sway? Yes. Do I want to create a shoulder rotation? Yes. The result will look, of course, just normal. The difference is I am now not holding my body in position. 
I'm not artificially creating nice lines. I'm in fact totally aware of coordinating my body and every single joint in my bone structure around a very strong, stable, and powerful vertical weight fall. Anyway, our team will soon join us again, and they will show you this exercise as we did earlier. Are we ready? And left foot in position, central position, receive weight on left foot. Right foot in position, central position, receive. Foot in position, central position, receive. Foot in position, central position, receive. Foot in position, central position, receive and stop. Foot is already in position, central position, receive on right foot. Foot in position, central position, receive. Foot in position, central position, receive. Foot in position, central position, receive. Foot in position, central position, receive, and prepare for twist turn. And let's turn.